So today we're starting off the day late with a 2013 Dodge Ram 3500. Uh, the 6.7 Cummins turbo diesel. We're gonna be doing the stern box. So this one shouldn't be too bad, um, but with the brace it is gonna make it a little bit more fun. So I'll try to grab as much tools as I can. Let's see. So we're gonna need an Allen key because this has a the steering box brace. That's not the right size. It's probably standard. Let's see, this is gonna be too big. There we go. We're gonna try to reuse this brace with the steering box we got. It's an upgraded steering box. So it might not work. We'll find out. Can we take a break for a second? Okay, so now we're gonna start my creeper this stuff. So we're gonna get this cotter pin off. The uh pitman arm. This cotter pin's like a wet noodle. I just grab them like this. Yes, yeah, so and these are my wire cutting dikes. But. Okay. Oh. Put a pin in the butt. I'm just gonna pull them out the other way. They're so tore up. Oh, yeah, thing. So I'm gonna take that out. Don't wanna leave it on the ground. Next, we're gonna loosen it. I'm probably not gonna have the right size. See, told you. So we'll come back to that in a second. Now let's see if I have the right size for this because I'm probably not going to either. Nope, I grabbed all the wrong sizes. Cool, and that one I'm gonna have the wrong size in too probably. I think it's a 13 for the steering. Nope, okay, so we're good. We'll go with that one. Let me grab a, I believe, 21. Um, we'll grab a hammer and a 14, 15. I grabbed everything. I'm not using light today because I have flicker lights and it's annoying to watch in the video. So that was a 21. Just gonna screw that back on there a little bit so I don't destroy it. We're gonna give it. Okay, now we're gonna take these. Hopefully, I got the correct size this time. Oof. Rusty, crusty. No, I smelled you. What's that? I know. I'm 13. No. So when you undo the steering shaft, you want to make sure you tie the steering wheel in a straight position. Okay, steering shaft's off. Let's go get the, let me grab a bucket and we'll get the lines off. The seat get put away, a can-am comes out. All right. 
No, that's gonna be fun. We'll off the water by noon. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. So I put so He's much money. There sitting underneath the Dodge diesel truck. Yeah, I know. You bring the baby, right? Yeah. 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 No, I think we're good. You got we'll find out how. I'm not too sure what we're doing yet. Well, because we're already out of base camp. We'll bring our easy up. Yeah, because I think we were gonna uh, sit at that, you know, the one beach. Yeah. I think that's where we're, 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 yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or, or if we go to Cattail, we have that one little area that's. Well, I think that I think that place I think that dock is or that launch is closed. Cattail? I think so. The one that we launch off usually. I think that one's closed. I looked at it and on the Google Maps it says it's uh, per it's temporarily closed or something. That little one. Well, the one we usually launch off of the launch. Yeah, the one that by we the house? Or are you uh, talking about the one that's down the street? Like the, one that's, the one that's by the that big yeah, RV by dealership? The you know the one we, we went to the last couple times? Yeah. That one. Yeah, and then we, we sat over there. That's when I had to change the spark plug over in that yeah. area. Yeah, that, it says that ramp is closed. If we, if we get up early enough, we can go to the one that's, um, it's like only has one launch. Yeah. And we can go to the one that's over by the dam. Yeah, that's the one we went to last time, right? I, I, th I think we, we went there. That one's cool though. Yeah, because then it, we could have. Yeah, that's the one on the little beach. Yeah. yeah. No, well, we got more than one day. We can go to different ones. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. We'll figure it out. We'll see what time Carl wants to wake up. That's right. Three in the morning. <laughs> Three in the morning. So, but no, if you do different ones, different times, I think it'd be more fun for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. That'll be fun with boats. Thing is, people are gonna have to pay for their launches. Yeah. Every day. Man, boathouse, boathouse is gonna be expensive. Yeah. Are, are the people you guys going with want to go there? Uh, probably. Okay, nice. But you know, I don't, we don't all have to sit together. Yeah. We don't have to go all at the same time. Because uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people. I mean, her family, right? And parents. Yeah, I think like ten. I don't. Uh, my parents. Yeah. Are I'm they not. Going? I'm not sure if they're going. They're probably not. They don't like to go. Because they won't have their own boat, right? Yeah. Well, I'm like, I mean, I really don't. I plan on just going out and riding around. I want to go check it out, you know? You need to put some hours on the sea dudes. Well, I think it's good that her family's going because if somebody can be Exactly. Get, you know, that's exactly baby. what She's like, or her sister's like, I'll watch it for $18 an hour. I'm like, okay, okay sure, sounds good. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Doing the work. Yeah. We go to Texarkana. Okay. Yeah, this one is the fun one on these trucks. The bigger line. This one I'm using a 1316th wrench. It's the return. And now we gotta loosen this one right here. This back one is kind of a pain. And this is the one I'm using a 13 16 on. Which I think translates to a, a 21 millimeter. The front one, one closest to the passenger side, is 18, which is typical. These dodges. You feel the need to have a giant fitting on here. See? These ones aren't too bad. I'm gonna have to use this hand now.
again so that drip that one's gonna be a good leaker it's gonna drain the reservoir now so now we gotta get the big bolts out One six seven. We'll pull the pitman arm off now. That's a that is ninety bucks. I might grab a socket for that. Okay. One inch. Get it tight. You get some tension on it and give it a little left back. With a small hammer. you put it back on the same way it came off. Right, Ricardo? Yes, 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 yes,
Twaya. Twaya. Oh, forget to bring your twaya. Twaya. Bring your twaya. And lock tight. Put it down here just because. Well, this truck is lifted, so you just got to be careful with these. Let's read it on my hand as much as we can, so I don't strip it. I'll get it back out and get on it. Your twa yeah. This came with the with the new uh um, Yeah you can set. use a new one. They use whatever one. But I'm like what would, what would this go? Oh that that's the pinch bolt. That's a new plin he didn't use it on the other side, so just use the old one just so it's uh symmetrical. Unless it's damaged then replace it. Yeah, go it's the pinch bolt. Mm -hmm. It goes right there. So use the old one? Uh yeah you can if the if the old one's damaged, just replace it. If not, I would do that. So luckily these guys, to the red line, you want it to be straight so that you know when you install it, everything lines up. But yeah, I like these, these are good boxes. One was brand new. always loosen these before you get in there because sometimes these are really tight to get out just get them finger tight so when we get it back in so we need the half inch i'm gonna go set this down over there because that box is heavy Okay. Well, why is 
this. Hold my shoulder. I didn't even pay attention to that. Oh yeah, see, and they're different lengths. So I'm assuming the longs go here and the short go there. Look at that. I don't want to ever notice that. But usually I leave the bolts in the frame. Maybe that's why. And these you want to get them rolling. Well, you got a better view than I do. <laughs> well, we got to put the big one in first. So I usually keep the O-rings, it's a little weird, keep them in my mouth, two of my teeth, so I don't lose them. Because if I set them down somewhere, I'll leave them. I'll never er, ever find them. So this is an O-ring. That's the little guy. There's two different ones, there's a big and a small. And then we got the big one now. So we got to pop the big one off and change it. Okay, there's the little one. I'll grab it off the floor in a second. Okay, so I'll put it Does help Ricardo get that thing done? Right. Probably just trade off with him because he's got to go to lunch. Okay. I don't want him going to lunch so late. Okay. Now these caps I told you to loosen earlier, this is why you do that. You take them out right by hand. And if they're plugs, I usually just take them out because they'll fight you. And it just, it gets rough trying to pick them out and they're stuck in there. And it's just no fun. But see, you learn something new every day. I don't know how many of these steering boxes I've done and I've never seen different length and bolt, but I did kind of notice that the frame was a different depth on the bolt towards the inside of the vehicle. Now we're gonna get this one tight. You probably use a crow's step on the top, but I think you can get through the fender well too. But I'm here and we're gonna do it this way. Use my little hand so you guys can't see nothing. And these you want them, you don't want them crazy tight, but you want them tight. Yep. Where at? <laughs> How much? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, and I told Dave kind of not buy as much from uh, Cal State. Because they kind of screwed us on that. That's that's not cool. You know, if we can't buy it, they shouldn't list it. Exactly. You know? That's like going to the grocery store. Oh, I want to buy that, that box of cereal. Oh, you can't have that, sir. Bring it out, bring it yeah. No, you can't you can't have that. You're not our customer. <laughs> that's retarded. Well, that's cool. Yeah. We had a whole set in stock. Really? Yeah. That's nice. And seven three injectors for a I think a two thousand. Very hard to come by. They're like on back order. We have one parts house that we buy from. We buy a lot of stuff from. They deliver here two or three times a day, and they wouldn't sell us injectors from a certain warehouse, you know, a couple hundred miles away, which we normally have access to. 
just because the where those parts are on like super back order you can't even find them with those injectors right now i'm sure you can get different ones but we like to use a motorcraft because they're just we have better luck with them but yeah so we're gonna be boycotting them for a little bit because we quoted the customer already for the price of the injectors that they're gonna sell them to us for and they kind of screwed us and delayed the customer the customer needs a truck back and you know they just they kind of i don't know i just don't like that kind of stuff you know it's listed on our on our computer that we can purchase them we we're able to order them on the computer and then they're like no we can't sell them to you because you're not a customer of ours just because you're a different warehouse in a different location the same same company just in a different area you know it's ridiculous Dumb. Okay, that one's tight. That one's an 18. Now we're gonna put the steering coupler on and see. The thing is, you want to make sure everything's lined up. Like I said earlier, the red mark, red mark, which this company right here is really nice about. I really, really like their products. I've used other companies before. Their steering boxes are that color on the top, and they're junk. Um, I have one in my personal truck. It's a piece of crap. I've put a few of them in customer trucks, and I've already had to replace them. And we use these, they're oversized, overbuilt. They just, they work so much better. They're not pieces of junk. So, you know, if you are looking for something, they might be your option. But you can see how this one's pretty close. This one's just a hair off. That's how I was hitting it, trying to get it. You wanna get it really close, and then this should just slide right on, in theory. Just like that, see? You shouldn't have to fight it because you want to make sure that um, that steering wheel doesn't move. So I have it tied up with the seat belt. I'll show you guys that when I get out. So you want to be sure that steering wheel does not move. If that steering wheel moves um, and you lose clock of it, then you could damage the clock spring. And some of these clock springs nowadays are very expensive. Okay, it's tight. Uh, this hose looks good. I'm just gonna bend. I'm gonna move it back. We'll check. Make sure it's still tight. Cause it just you've seen it move right there. I want to get a good bite on it. Yeah, it's just still tight. It's just it's moving on the O-ring. Okay, so now we're done with that. Next up is we're gonna put the. Oh, we can put the the tie rod on the pitman arm or the I guess you call the drag link. Put that on so you can see. And what's cool is this company, they didn't say that he might not be able to use this. Um, but luckily, we're able to uh, make it work. Five pounds? How did that just disappear? Yeah. Where, your hammer? No. Remember, I have a cool copper hammer in there. Your brass one, you mean? Yeah, well, no, copper had The one that was broken on one side? Yeah. It's gone? Okay, let's go ahead and get this tight before the wind comes and gets it, blows it away. Then you want to line. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to move you guys over here. We're going to wipe up our mess a little bit. And we're going to put this thing back together. Yeah, good luck. It sucks. <laughs> I know. Now this stuff is not factory. The, the sway bar obviously is, but this isn't the factory style sway bar. This is the aftermarket sway bar. Probably because of the uh, the support for the hip and arm. I'm going to want to swallow my head today. So we're going to get this. They came out a little tight. So they're going to go back in a little tight. You know, you just don't want to strip them. Try to wipe up your mess. I still got to get a cotter pin for that. I'm not going to forget. Just, I have a lot of work to do today. Unfortunately. How much of it did we film? I have no idea yet. 
This is the first filming of today and it's already noon. Now we gotta put the lock ring back on. Uh, so that has a beveled edge. So I'm assuming it sits down like this. It sits like that. Because it has a bevel on the inside that sits in the, uh, the bearing right there. Okay, it's tight. Um, we just need a cotter pin and put some fluid in it and we are ready to rumble. But let's try to clean it up a little bit more. I just, I don't like stuff being, oops, sorry guys. I don't like stuff being leaky. You know, we have a lot of nice houses where we are. And I don't want him parking in a driveway and having it. Okay, it's a nice fat cotter pin. There's a million different ways to do a cotter pin. I do mine like that, you know. Let's make it. So it's as long as it holds it on, that's all that matters. Okay, now we're gonna put some fluid in and get it done. Perfect timing. Okay. So for this, the 13 RAM, we're using an ATF plus four. That's what it calls for, per Mitchell. So. See if it makes a mess. driving the Dodge that we just did the steering box in and so far it feels really good. Steering's just a little bit noisy. Just gotta drive it to get it to get all the air out of it. Feels nice and tight.
think this is one of the highest mileage newer Dodge Rams that I've seen. 301,000 miles. It's insane. But I'll finish the test drive and then we'll return and check the fluid and make sure there's no leaks. Looks good.